Howdy everyone. I filmed this video last year during the first, yes, first, lockdown and never uploaded it. It may not be as cool to bleach your hair in quarantine as it was a year ago. It was still a fun process that I had fun doing, and also learned from my mistakes. I hope you enjoy. Hey, and I'm back. And my neighbors might be watching me. Oops. Hey everyone, so I'm Dom. I'm going to be ruining my hair today. I'm going to be bleaching it. I, like many others in quarantine, are losing it and I have already given myself a haircut and it turned out pretty good. I usually style it with a flat iron and I thought what next could I do to my hair in quarantine and I decided I'm just gonna bleach it. Everyone else is doing that uh, and if the bleach doesn't work out, I could give myself a buzz cut and then boom, I would check off all three things all in once during quarantine. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So about a month ago during my spring break, um, my friend wanted to bleach her bangs and give herself one of those like, uh, I don't I don't know what to call them. I'm just gonna post a photo. But she wanted to bleach her bangs and I was with her at the time. This was before, like before we all went into lockdown. I was like, hey, I kind of want some of that on my hair. So we gave myself a little, a little blonde streak and I thought I was gonna turn out like, Vanilla Swirl Zane, but that didn't work out. I watched Sarah Baskin's video on bleaching her hair and I was just like, I kind of want to do that to my hair. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I ordered things on Sally's um, about like 10 days ago and it finally got here. It also gave me like some time to decide if I really wanted to bleach my hair and I still do, so. I also live in a college town, so I don't have a, a Sally's nearby me. The closest one is like an hour or two away. And of course, it's closed because of the lockdown. So I got the necessities, which is just uh, a bowl and a brush, gloves, 30 volume developer. This is the packet of bleach I already used, but I just reordered another one just in case. Uh, this Blonde Brilliance Lightener Formula. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. I already have toner, which is just T14, and I don't really know if that's a toner, so. And also, this is like not a tutorial or a guide. This is just me being stupid and wanting to bleach my hair. I have been watching a lot of like of the quarantine bleaching videos and a lot of the quarantine haircutting videos and a lot of Brad Mondo videos. So I think my plan of attack is I'm gonna do back to front my long parts first and then the roots and then the sides because the sides and the roots will be about the same length. Maybe give myself a haircut after that, I don't know. I'm praying that it turns out good and I'm praying that my hair doesn't fall out. Hopefully I will still have a head of hair after this. Um, let's, let's hope for the best. Okay, welcome to my bathroom. This is what you are going to be seeing for the next 10 minutes YouTube time, hopefully, 10, 15 minutes. So I <laughs> I started to separate the actual blonde streak that I had from the rest of my hair. But then again, I don't know how that's gonna work out. So that's already the first problem. Okay, so update, I did uh, a little, oh my God, this looks so bad. So I did a test strip and the strip ended up being a little bit too big. Hair still feels pretty healthy, actually, um, so that's good. So far, so good. Here we go, ready? The semi-reveal. <gasps> oh my god, who is that? Ooh. That's a nice color. Okay, wow! Oh my god! This looks really good, actually. <laughs> Time to do the rest. I need to start in the back. Can you see me? A little bit. <laughs> you, should, you should be my guide. Okay. You might want to, like, brush the opposite way, too. Oh. Like, go down, like, up. Okay, so let's talk about what I just did. I took off the cap and then I reapplied the bleach to roots, my sides, and just resaturated everything just so that way like it would just keep bleaching. I don't know if it's gonna turn platinum blonde, but it is blonde. My hair is taking to it really well. I don't know if I'm gonna tone it tomorrow or tonight, because I do, I feel like I do wanna go a little bit brighter than this um, with my leftover 
bleach. Uh, Cause why not? Like if I do go bald, then it's during quarantine. Take this off and hopefully my hair's not falling out. Oh my God, please don't. It's still good. Let me go rinse this out. Hopefully I will not be bald. Oop, I am shirtless. So I did wash it. My hair did not fall out, which is very surprising. I have not seen it yet, like in its full glory. For, I think a little bit of some pieces have not. Like this, a little bit of the sides did not bleach entirely. Most likely because of the water from when I sprayed the inside of the plastic bag, because I thought that would help it a little bit. Um, when I rinse, oh my God. <gasps> Oops, some fell out. Time for the reveal. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I did really good with the roots and stuff. Like it matches almost perfectly. Wow. Okay, let me check the back. Oh, oh god. Oh, the back's the worst. But um wow. Okay. Oh. 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 Yep, that fell out. Ah. It's still wet as of right now. I did an okay job. So it's for sure brassy. Um, definitely some brass. There was definitely a brass moment to be had. My scalp for sure hates me right now. That blonde streak, she's she's true blonde now. I think I did an even job with the roots to the mids. Cause they all they all it looks really good. However, the back and the sides. The sides, uh they're okay, not bad. Uh, well, maybe that's bad. Uh, this side I just noticed, probably because I touched it a little bit. The back. Yeah, that's really bad. I am most likely going to go over it again, honestly. I want it to be really, really bright. Um, but I think for now, tonight, I will tone it um, once this dries. Okay, so new plan of attack. It's been a couple of hours later and I still want to go a little bit lighter. This top part is like, for sure, it could do maybe 20. And then I think on the sides, I'm going to do 30. Just to bring this up to speed. And I did separate the two into two different bowls. So that way I can do one 30 volume and another 20 volume. So we don't have a lot to work with. So, um, I'm kind of nervous and I, I'm not going to keep it on as long because, um, I don't want to fry out my hair. All right, let's get started on round two. So let's, let's get to it. Okay. Round two with the bleach. This time I am shirtless so I can just rip, go into the shower, cap off. Oh my god, I'm scared, I'm so scared, I'm really so scared. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, this is kind of a cute hairstyle. Okay, better. It's, uh, it's still yellow. Yes, this is the final result. Okay, well. Oh my god, I'm scared to like even touch this. So some parts definitely took lighter than the other. That's not a lie. That, this literally looks like noodles. Yeah, that's bad. The back is bad. Hey, so the middle of my hair is fine. Um, oh my God, there, I have a mole on top of my head. I never knew that. Okay, so sorry that the fans could be on for this part, but it's gonna smell bad for me. So this is like a more semi dry stage. I pretty much haven't left the bathroom in like 30 minutes. But yeah, let's, let's put on some toner. Uh, I have the Wella T14 toner. Now that I've let my hair rest for a little bit, uh, I do now realize that watching this footage back that my hair was not light enough to take this color. So my recommendation is to go lighter or just not use this toner. Um, so that's some advice for myself. So this is the color Pale Ash Blonde and it's a 1 to 2 ratio. It's smart. So. Ooh. I don't know why I did that, even though I knew what this smelled like. Oh, 
Yeah, that's somewhat great. Wow, it definitely, uh, I don't know about the back, um, but it definitely like turned into a nice color. It's not yellow anymore. It's not yellow anymore. Like this part is way lighter, is like more gray than this outer part. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I did uh, take a shower and I did a little haircut on it. So um, my sides are a lot shorter now. Uh, the back is still... <laughs> Again, I'm in quarantine, so I'm just waiting until like I can get an actual haircut. Um, but for now, it's all pretty good. My friend says I look like KK Slider from Animal Crossing and that's kind of funny. I really like it for, uh, it's, uh, the color turned out really good. And yeah, um, I'm very excited to just take photos and just not be dark haired because this is the first time I have ever dyed my hair, bleached it. Uh, it's very exciting. Also, ew, why is this so, this is really blunt, but I never know how to style this part of my hair. Um, Overall though, it turned out great. Um, the color is great. My hair grows extremely fast, so the roots are gonna come in in like a few days, I know for a fact. But yeah, so thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys um, enjoyed it and enjoyed me frying my hair out. And I will see you guys never again. Bye.